Ravensbrück concentration camp was an all-female camp established inside of the Third Reich. Many of the worst female guards of the camps were trained here under the evil overseer Maria Mandel, who personally made sure that these women knew how to inflict violent beatings and instill a reign of terror. But many of the female guards were later sentenced to death and were executed for their involvement in the mass murder and selections at camps such as Bergen-Belsen and Auschwitz. What shocked many of the Allied soldiers after the war was the age of some of the women, as many were in their 20s when they went to their deaths at the gallows. But there were a number of older women, including one lady who served inside many different camps, but she was known for her evil and disgusting treatment and comments towards prisoners. Emma Zimmer was later executed at Hamlin Prison, and the 60-year-old was hanged by British executioner Albert Pierpoint. But what did she do, and why was she so evil? Join us today as we look at her, and remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Emma Zimmer was born on the 14th of August, 1888, in Hassemer in Baden-Württemberg. Her father was a pharmacist, and little is known about her life prior to Hitler's rise to power in Germany. But in 1939, she became a guard at the Lichtenburg concentration camp. This camp specifically was one of the first built by the Nazis, and was opened inside a Renaissance castle, and it held around 2,000 male prisoners from 1933 to 1937, and then from 1937 to 1939, it held female prisoners. It was later closed when Ravensbrück was opened, an all-female camp which replaced Lichtenburg as a main camp for female prisoners of the Third Reich. It became rather overcrowded, and the conditions at the camp were poor with disease and starvation being common, even before the Second World War broke out. But whilst at Lichtenburg in 1938, Emma Zimmer became a guard, and she also rose to the position as the assistant camp leader, where she served under Johanna Langefeld. Langefeld herself would be known for her brutality, and she was involved in the selection processes at Ravensbrück, in which many women were murdered inside of the Action T4 programme. But working alongside Langefeld, Emma Zimmer then transferred across to Ravensbrück herself, and she also became the assistant chief leader there, which was rather senior. Heinrich Himmler had ordered the construction of Ravensbrück, and it was specifically stated that it would hold exclusively female prisoners. When the camp's first women were transferred, 900 women from Lichtenburg arrived, along with guards such as Emma Zimmer. As the months rolled on and the Second World War began, the capacity of the camp had already exceeded, and even by summer 1941, earlier on in the conflict, the rations at Ravensbrück were reduced to what they should have been. During its time in operation, between 1939 and 1945, around 132 female prisoners passed through its camp system, and it's believed that around 50,000 died from disease, starvation and overwork. Around 2,200 people were murdered inside of the gas chambers also there. At Ravensbrück, Emma Zimmer was one of the most senior guards, was regarded as the first chief woman officer, and she also got involved in selections there, with prisoners being sent to the Bernberg Euthanasia Centre near to Berlin. She was known at Ravensbrück for being virulent and sadistic, and she was hated by the women there. When Zimmer came to Ravensbrück, she was already rather old in terms of the other guards that were served inside the camp, but she was then transferred again, but then would be sent to Auschwitz too. In October 1942, she became the assistant camp leader at Auschwitz II Birkenau, which was the main extermination complex of Auschwitz. Each day thousands of people were transported to Auschwitz and were being selected to go straight to their deaths as soon as they arrived there. Emma Zimmer was involved in the selections, and she sent many women and children to their deaths inside the gas chambers as soon as they arrived. She was very feared at Auschwitz, and one of the prisoners told of her threats after the war. At a post-war trial that sought to deal with a number of war criminals and former concentration camp staff, the prisoner in question mentioned Zimmer, and she stated, Our supervisor was an old and mean SS woman, called Emma Zimmer. She was vicious and dangerous and frightening us constantly with threats, proclaiming in a sadistic voice, I will report you, and then you will go away. You know where? Just one way, up the chimney. We hated her and were scared of her. With this, it was very clear that she knew what was happening at the camps, and she knew the death and destruction that was happening at Auschwitz. On the 1st of June 1943, one month before she turned 55, she was granted special permission to stay on as a member of staff 
and as a female overseer at Ravensbrook. At the time, it was believed she was too old to perform her duties, but because of her reputation and experience, she was allowed to stay on at the camps. She was later also awarded the War Merit Cross Second Class Without Swords for her involvement inside concentration camps, but later after the war had come to an end, she was brought to trial. Emma Zimmer stood in front of the judges at the 7th Ravensbrück trial, a series of legal proceedings that aimed to deal with the former members of staff and guards at the female camp. Many people who'd stood trial were later sentenced to death for their involvement in crimes against humanity, and in total 38 defendants were tried, with 21 of them being women. 20 of the defendants were given death sentences, and one of them was Emma Zimmer. At her trial, there was a large degree of evidence brought forward about her crimes, and the courtroom heard of the fear that she instilled into the prisoners. They also heard how she was involved in selecting inmates for the gas chambers, and also how she mistreated and violently beat inmates of an allied nationality. Alongside Ida Schreiter, a Labour Department warden, Emma Zimmer was sentenced to death, and was then due to be executed on the 20th of September 1948, three years after the war had come to an end. She was transferred to Hamlin Prison, where a large number of Nazi war criminals were executed by the British executioner Albert Pierpoint, on gallows that had been specifically created there to kill Nazi war criminals. She was kept in her cell, but then Pierpoint met with her to measure her and weigh her, before he then calculated the drop needed to kill her instantly during her execution. He used the long drop method to execute hundreds of Nazi war criminals, and he was very reliable at doing this and also rather skilled, and he preferred to instantly snap the necks of the condemned rather than seeing them strangled to death. On the day of her execution, she made her way into the condemned cell and was led by Pierpoint and his assistant. He placed a hood over her head and then the noose over her neck before he then shuffled her over a chalk X that Pierpoint had drawn onto the floor. As soon as she was secured and the noose was checked, Pierpoint pushed the lever and Emma Zimmer, a woman who had inflicted so much terror onto prisoners during the Holocaust, was instantly executed. She was 60 years old when she was killed. Emma Zimmer was just one of a number of female concentration camp guards who were executed after the Second World War. Women such as Irma Grazer, Elizabeth Volkenrath and Maria Mandel were sentenced to death for their crimes. But Emma Zimmer is not the most well-known war criminal. It was clear in her threats that she knew about the deadly nature of the concentration camps and she terrorised ultimately the prisoners with her threats. Her words of, I will report you and you will go away, you know where, just one way up the chimney, was a chilling and horrific remark which struck fear into the hearts of the prisoners. She was truly evil and the crone of Auschwitz met her end at the gallows. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe and once again, thank you so much for watching.